We're also sharing the story of a Milwaukee mom who is on a mission to find justice for her son after he was killed in a crash last year. But to this day, that other driver has not been charged. Investigative reporter Sean Gallagher has her story. To lose a loved one is hard. He was my only son. But it's different when it's a child. It's been devastating. For Janice Crump, it's been just over a year since her son, 27-year-old Bobby Brown, died at this intersection, 7th and Locust, when his minivan was hit by a white van, a crash caught on camera at this corner store. When Janice saw the video... I just screamed. I ended up getting sick. I was sick for a whole week. Bobby's minivan gets clipped and slides through the intersection. You can't see it from this video, but he eventually hits a tree. According to autopsy reports, it was the impact with that tree that killed Bobby. Janice provided this video to the I-Team. She put it together in a documentary to try to bring awareness to her son's death. Janice says when her son's van was hit, the other driver had a red light. It clearly shows who was responsible in the video. It clearly shows. That's why I posted the video. I requested video and the crash report from the Milwaukee Police Department in April and have not been given access. The 21-year-old in the other vehicle was taken into custody, but walked away with just a ticket for operating with a suspended license. We're not naming him since he was never charged with a crime. It's another devastating blow for Bobby's family. What hurts me really the most is that someone really killed him and they just like, I feel like they just got away and he didn't deserve that. That's Bobby's girlfriend, Hope, who's now left to care for their five-year-old son. People have families. They have people that care about them. They have kids that one day will grow up and, and see these things. And who knows how long we'll be fighting for this justice for Bobby. The district attorney's office declined an interview about this crash, but the chief deputy DA tells me while they did not charge the driver, they are reviewing the case again to determine if charges are warranted. Their analysis will review both driver's actions and how they may have played a role in Bobby's death. How can you tell me that you are not charging him for killing my son? Traffic lights are designed to stop crashes like this from happening. And this got us asking questions about the timing of these lights. Tomorrow, we'll bring these questions to the city and take a closer look at that surveillance video. Why didn't your son stop at the intersection? That's tomorrow on TMJ4 News at 6. Sean asking a lot of good questions there. We're going to get those answers. Sean Gallagher reporting. Thanks. Project Drive Safer is our year long effort to combat reckless driving, and you can catch our daily reporting at projectdrivesafer.com.